Now, Chaz, there's been a lot of speculation about your future. I think we've been talking for a little while now about the fact that you're one of a few drivers off contract. At the end of the year, there's been a story circulating about you being <laughs> spotted at DJR Team Penske. So set the record straight for us. What were you doing there? I can't can't talk about it. I mean, I think it's fantastic that uh, <laughs> Stubbsy's got his ears to the, <laughs> to the ground quite well. So, um, yeah, no, keep, keep him guessing. It's good for me. Uh, obviously, I've uh, been with Tickford for some years. Um, we've still got a long way to go this year to, and we need to try and keep pushing forward. And um, definitely nothing settled as yet. So just uh, looking forward to the future, looking forward to this weekend. And for me, I, I'm really str- I really struggle with long term. But I, I mean, I guess looking ahead. So I'm such a short term goal person. And this weekend's all about Darwin trying to move forward. So Tickford's uh, got some stuff in the pipeline, which we're, we're hoping to, to roll out this weekend. And fingers crossed that can just edge us a bit closer to those shell cars and, and try and uh, keep uh, Scotty pretty honest out there. He's doing it pretty easy at the moment. So uh, we all want to try and chase him. We talk about Scotty doing a really good job for DJ Team Penske, but Craig and I have been saying through the course of the year that you're, the Mostert factor at Tickford is a big one too. So they'd be desperate to keep you. Uh, yeah, look, I mean, obviously it was a pretty big shock for the team last year for Frosty to move on. He was kind of the core guy in there and uh, with, we worked really well together to try and push the, the cars forward and the team and, and the way Frosty drive and I drive is quite different but the good thing about our package was it would generally work either way on each weekend so this year's um, we've obviously rolled the Mustang out that's kind of been a pretty good help to us this year it's kind of suited our cars a bit more back to the linear springs you know everyone tries to sweep that under the table but you know the fact is in the last two years we actually did use linear springs a lot as well so that kind of really helped Tickford a bit and kind of putting some older setups in and and um, you know, making some more sense with some data instead of just the trap spring stuff. So this year, you know, we've got our results more from the history of our team and what we have run before. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're not, not happy unless you're winning. You're not a real race car driver out there unless uh, you're trying to win every race. And um, yeah, this year's we've been a bit shy on that as well. So we want to keep pushing forward. You said you're not a big uh, long-term forecaster of your future, but is it still in Australia or you're thinking about maybe overseas? Uh, it's it's kind of tough. I mean, there definitely is that international thing. You, you know what it's like. It's you race. Um, I've been lucky enough to, to race GT Le Mans and uh, a bit of GT3 ar- around the world now. And you go to some awesome tracks like Laguna Seca. I got to go this year. That was just unbelievable. I only ever played it on video games. <laughs> and um, you know, same with Daytona 24 Hours. So for me, was that you? Nah, you nah, that nah. Point. Lucky you enough, that <laughs> I, I stayed out of trouble that weekend. So really? I was very lucky. Yeah. yeah. But um, you know, and definitely for me to go tick those awesome tracks off and, and race these cool GD3 cars is something that appeals to me but I have a lot of unfinished business here in supercars as well and um, I'm a bit of a pickle with that at the moment so yeah I just got to work out what I'm going to do over the probably next couple of months and and then uh, keep you guys guessing because it's always fun (laughs) with the stories coming out and it's good for super cheap auto when there's a photo of me with a thing so we'll just keep keep running the game. So (laughs) are your options open? We know Tickford want to keep you your hot property on the market. Have you spoken to other supercars teams about a job with them next year? Um, No. You haven't oh. spoken to anything. <laughs> I've got to keep you guessing. I can't oh, give you a that was away. a bad answer. That was nah, a bad look, answer. Look, at the focus, for me, <coughs> loyalty is a big thing in this game. And Tickford gave me my start. Obviously, leased me out to DJR for a year in 2013 to give me some experience to step up into their cars. So, for me, I've got to give them the best opportunity to put their foot right. Um, you know, they have shown in the past. They've won championships, Bathurst, uh, you know, races. Um, yeah, but I want to win a championship. That's that's where it is at the end of the day. And at the moment, we've got to do a bit more at Tickford to do that. So, But for me, I've got to give them their best opportunity to, to give me the car and the crew around me to, to do the job. And, and like I said, I've got to do the best job for them, you know, be cons- more consistent, not make silly mistakes on, you know, first lap at Winton and stuff like that. It's, um, it's all a big team sport. But just to clarify quickly, <laughs> have you spoken to other teams about next year, yes or no? Ooh. Like, but next year? Or about I speak the future. to all the teams. I'm a social butterfly. So that's a yes or no. <laughs> Have you spoken about an opportunity for full-time gig next it's year? It's still trying to work it all out. You don't know what everyone's doing. You're there. avoiding I think, my question. I think is the next month or two, everyone will know what they're kind of doing. So if Fair all enough. that fails, so just to get, because Jess has got the heat on your heart. I'm going to be a removalist. <laughs> so, uh, so if Tickford doesn't work out, Penske doesn't work out, BMW doesn't work out, drag racing might be your go. You're better at Winter Nationals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I went to Winter Nationals, got absolutely smoked, got a lot of work to do there. Um, I got in the 10, so Craig, you should be yeah, happy uh, with that. Yep. But um, they obviously got my 11 something here in this one, but there's so much group. It was a lot of fun, obviously, a lot of pressure going up against a legend like Ben Bray. And he had a bad start too, so it made me feel a bit better about myself. But those drags, there's, there's something really special. And, and those guys and girls that do race those cars, they have big kahunas. Absolutely <laughs> big kahunas. So for me, it's uh, 
a little bit out of my depth there, but had a lot of fun and um, met a lot of interesting people over the Make weekend. Parachute. Good fun. Uh, didn't deploy. We didn't get <laughs> <quite> fast enough. <laughs> Just quickly before we let you go, how are you feeling heading into this weekend? What are your expectations? Um, like I said, pretty pretty pumped for this weekend. This is uh, for the team probably been the one event we've been fighting quite hard to get to. So um, definitely some st new stuff that we're, we're trying this weekend. Um, you know, got to touch wood. You never know if it's going to be good, bad, um, ugly or beautiful. But we're going to really gonna try our hardest this weekend. And we're, we're hoping to find a bit more performance and go forward. So like I said, we've been there, thereabouts. Last two rounds, um, you know, Perth, uh, we got a trophy. Winton yep. got a trophy. So the morale's coming. We're building some confidence in some results again. Um, but, yeah, we want to win races. It's pretty simple, like everyone else down pit lane. Yeah, well, all the best this weekend. Thanks for coming and well having done, a chat yeah, well to us. Thank you for grilling me with all your hard questions. <laughs> Anytime, just like the fish you caught this week. <laughs> Thanks, Chazzy. We'll see you over the weekend.